Hola guys and girls and welcome to week 3 of the GBA. We are here versus A Drive, aka Dan, aka Coach of the St. Louis and Pardos and this is a very important match, this is another division match. If you can win this we are 3-0 ahead in our division and that would just grant a very good spot for the playoff race. So that's another like last week, we have, basically we have to win this match if we want to get, get a good spot in our division. But yeah, before we start into all this stuff, the scenery change is because I'm at the moment at my parents' house, I'm not at my home in uh, yeah, their study, I'm, I'm visiting my parents all the weekend, I'm recording here. And the standard shoutouts go to Isaac for the beautiful thumbnail, Kino for the beautiful layout, Rykrin for the beautiful recording and uh, Slyro for the beautiful beautiful genning of my team. The last three guys, Kino, Raikren and Slyro, all the PPLs, it's, which is another draft based league, so if you are in for some more draft uh, league action then the GBA, definitely give their channels a look. They are all in DPL and yeah, they know their stuff, they know their stuff and Isaac is just an amazing dude which does art and has a Twitter, which will be in the description too. But yeah, looking over my team, if you want to have more insight than what I will go over now, definitely check out my team builder video, the link will be in the description too, but for all which don't have the time or just don't, just don't want to look at it, just here for the battle, I will go quickly over it. First up we got kind of defensive speedy Crobat with uh, Brave Bird, Roost, um, Taunt and Super Fang. Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, Dragon with Sucker Punch, Dragon Tail, Gang Shot and Stealth Rock. Choice Band Azumarill with Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Play Rough and Super Power. Uh, Mix Mega Absol with Fire Blast, Knock of Sucker Punch and Iron Tail. Uh, Rock Polish, Yachi Berry, Landorus Eye with Earth Power, Sludge Wave and Knock Off and Rock Punch of course. And as last, Max Special Defensive Assault, Death Tang Rove with Giga Drain, Earthquake, Hidden Power Eyes and e -relays. So, looking at the team, what I first noticed is he didn't brought Heracross. He then brought Scarabon to Heracross and I'm very happy about that. Scarabon was a, a big problem to my team. I basically only had Crobat as a switch and Dragon kind of, but Crobat doesn't enjoy taking a storage from a, Scar from a Heracross. I, I, I call it Scarabon already because that's the German name, but <laughs> yeah, Heracross was a problem. I'm happy to not see it. He brought the Smeargle and that means one thing. That means shenanigans. That's basically all I can say about Smeagol. It means shenanigans. That means he will leave with it and he will do something with it. I have no idea what it will be. He will leave with it. I, my plan is to either leave with Mega Absol vs. Thing to magic once every shenanigan he could go for back to it or with Crobat and just taunt it. But yeah, for the rest of the team he pretty much brought what I expected. The Sylveon, the Teeny Mega Aggron, Jolteon and the Yuxi. Looking at this team he has, first of all, what I know from my perspective is he has no switch into his Umeril. Waterfall and Superpower basically run through his team. He it two shots everything he has on his team, depending on his investment, like it's full defensive Mag Aaron, which I don't expect, but he may be. And yeah, but Mag Azuru is a big threat to his team, and my game plan with Landers will will work if I weaken his team, of course. I need to weaken many teams, but I can earth power this thing, I can earth power this thing, I can slash with this thing, I can earth power this thing, I can knock off this thing, and Smeagol will probably do something at the beginning of the battle and then die, so I don't really am not concerned about that. I have to weaken all this stuff. I have to especially weaken the Yuxi because I only have knock off the this thing and Sludge Wave. And yeah, Yuxi is pretty bulky, so weakening his team, especially the Yuxi is my plan, and then late game sweeping with uh, Landorus. Like, Azura will punch some holes through his team. But okay, let's go on the battle. I, like I said, I was debating between leading with Mega Absol and leading with Crobat. I decided to lead with Crobat versus his uh, Smeagol, or what I expect his Smeagol lead, and Aedrox is a new challenge, and let's see if he really leads with Smeargle. Yes, he leads with Bob Ross's Smeargle. I just go for Crobat, I just go for the Taunt, and yeah, basically shut this thing down. I don't care if he switches out, I will do nothing. He goes for the final Gambit, right away. We're gonna get his choice final Gambit. After the match, he said that was especially for the Mega Absol. He expected my Mega Absol to lead this thing, and... Yeah, basically, it would have worked if I wouldn't leave Magasol. I'm pretty happy I did not leave with Magasol. I did for Crobat because of my HP in this, that I can take it. And first one down. Great. Five, <laughs> six, five start. He goes to Megatron. He, I think he would probably go for rocks or like Heavy Slam or something like this. And because of my defensive investment, I can take these hits and I can just go for Roost here. And get my health back and basically make all that smuggle that never happened. I just go for the Roost here. And yeah, I expected rocks or like Heavy Slam or something like this. If he goes for Head Smash, I'm dead either way. But I didn't expect him to bring, bring her in those. He goes for Toxic, uh, uh, predicting my switch out because Crobat usually can't do much to Megatron. Because like I said, I have the Super Fang World thing, which I will go for now. And looks perfectly, I hit and Mega Aggron is already at half health. Great start. He goes for Toxic, predicting again my switch out. But yeah, I won't switch. I'm not here to switch out. I'm not here to switch out. Now I will taunt this thing so he won't can Toxic any of my switch ins. And yeah, he, he now sees that I won't switch out with Crobat here. He goes for the Heavy Slam, goes for some damage. We will see how much it does, and it does quite a bit. Uh, but to be honest, quite a bit. I did not expect this man much damage. It's, this thing has some attack investment, 
But yeah, I switch out here, predicting another heavy slime going into my Tangrowth, which can take any hit. And I can, now that it's taunted, I can take it on 1v1 and just kill it with earthquakes and stuff. He switched out too, into his Brewer Drumroll, into a Sylveon, better. And yeah, I was expecting here, okay, he will go for Wish, he will go for Wish, uh, back into his uh, Mega Aircon to get, get, get back into good health, so Mega Aircon can take out my team. I'd go, go to my Azumarill on the Wish. If he would have gone for Wish. No, he's not defensive. He's he's offensive with Hyper Voice, and this is terrible. I this was a big misplay. You Azumarill would have would have done so much with his team. I just go for the Aqua Jet. I know I creeped it, but I couldn't risk it or speeding me because it's offensive. He just two it goes me with Hyper Voice. I'm luckily enough to survive it. It has a good chance to Oko Azumarill with my investment. But that was a terrible play. I assumed it was defensive. That was a big misassumption. I shouldn't have done that, and a big mon is out of the way already. I could get some damage on this, but that was definitely not worth it. That was not worth it. I should have done that. I should have just stayed in with Crobat. Uh, or, or just go back into Crobat, like, but I don't don't switch in your win condition, like. <laughs> it's not, it wasn't a win condition, it's that's Lando, but it was a great Mom versus team. I go for Roost again to get my health back, because Hyper Voice, even with choice packs, after Roost and Black Set recovery, I can just Roost on that. He goes in Tesla, I have my uh, switch in, into this in my Tangrove, which I of course preserved, because I it couldn't do not anything versus Sylveon. He goes for the old switch, will do nothing, because of my assault, that's my investment, and because I resisted. And he will go into... Uh, another drum roll. He goes into the Savion again, and I have a problem because I'm missing switch into to specs. I uh, have a voice Crobat. I could switch in Crobat, but I know this thing can still take a hit. So I and I have regenerator, so I just stay and go for my strongest move. I have this thing, which is Earthquake Giga, and won't do as much because of the special defense of um, Savion. Now I switch out into Crobat. Just want to get some damage on this because Brave Bird would, wasn't enough to kill it. I can take the hyper voice pretty. Pretty, not, not not easily, it does it's, it does about 50%, but because of Black Sludge, it does less than 50%. I can just roost on this, which I will do right here. Probably should have gone for the Brave Bird, like, to get rid of this thing, but I was expecting this to switch out, because, yeah, look at this, he can't... He sh yeah, it wasn't a 2 KO, basically. I was expecting him to switch out, he stays in, goes for the second high voice. If I would have just gone for Brave Bird, the Sylvia would have already been out of the way. I would be very happy, but... Yeah, now, he basically... Yeah, I just, I think, he, okay, he sees he can't he can't beat me, but he still says, so let's go for a Brave Bird now, but, yeah, now, like, it's difficult to predict Dan. <laughs> I have to be honest here, I, I had my difficulties predicting him. I go for a Brave Bird here. He's just out of Tesla now, again, and I can't stay in with Crow, but of course, it's still too useful. It outspeeds his whole team, barring a Scarfer, and, oh, and barring Jordan, of course, which is on a field right now, and it can taunt some stuff, it can Brave Bird stuff. It, it's, it's very useful. I have a switch into this, which is my Tangrove. Which should be able to still take two HP Ices, or HP Fire, or HP Flying, but I expect HP Ice, of course, because of Lando. He goes for HP Ice, and looking at the damage, that was a pretty high roll, and I calced it, and I could take another, but it was very close. I was hoping he would calc it too, and maybe, I don't know his spread, maybe he thought he could take me out, I'd just go for a safe Earthquake. But, no, he was playing it safe, he goes for the Wolf Switch, I go for the EQ, like a dummy, and he switches out into his uh, Uxie. Pretty safe play, I have to switch out this thing, I want kind of a good amount of health, otherwise... Uh, Jolteon will get a problem. I go back into my Dragon because I expect either a U-turn and he will get massive damage with Rusk and Rocky Helmet or Stealth Rocks. If he goes to Stealth Rocks, I go for my, for my own Rocks. What will he, which will he do here? He may have like Ice Beam or something like this, which I can take, but I want Rocks up. He's switching a lot, like myself too, and I want I want him to uh, yeah I want to pay for that. I go for my Rocks here. Right, I do go for my Rocks. Yeah, I do it right. Uh, it's an outplay I'm thinking about. I just go for my rocks here. He goes into his uh, Mega Akron again. I expect the Toxic here. You already shown that has shown that. I go into, back into my Crobat. Can get a Roost up, and yeah, he basically can't two it KO me with um, heavy, heavy Slam. Got some Torograph. He goes for the Toxic. Thank God. If it, I mean, if he would have gone for Heavy Slam, I would have lost Crobat. Of course, I would have not. I would have. I yeah. It would have been bad, but I did not expect that. Like Ruskin Rocky Helmet, he he's he did not go for U-turn with Uxie, so either didn't have it or he broke my Rusk, uh, Ruskin Rocky Helmet. So he basically he doesn't want to touch my Dragon. He won't. Does he, he said after the match he he pretty much knew it was Rocky Helmet Ruskin, and he does, didn't didn't want to touch it. He goes for the Heavy Slam now, and I did, when I did for Roost, and looking at this damage, again, same with Sylveon, I can just Roost up on this. He doesn't do enough. I am recovering HP. Like you see, I was at 62. He goes for Heavy Slam, and I will end up after Black Sludge at 70-something. 61 after Black Sludge, I am at 72. Yeah, I'm, I'm recovering healthy. He can't, he's, he's playing for a, for a crit, basically. But yeah, I just go for Roost again, and I can Roost stall him here. I, I even looked up how many PP Heavy Slam has, and it sadly has too much. It was would not worth it, like, I still need my Roost. So I just switch out, he'd reckon over Dragon, expect him to go for another uh, Heavy Slam. 
to Gambit Dragon and get some Ruskin Rocky Helmet damage on him. But sadly, or not sadly, he at least I think he tries to predict my roost and goes for the earthquake. Which was here, I get some rock damage and earthquake, here it is. He goes for the Earthquake, uh, sadly not, it's not uh, the uh, Heavy Slam, so I can't get damage on him. Now he goes for the Toxic, but it, and it misses, sadly. I go for, uh, sadly, thankfully, I go for the Dragon Tail, and I dragged him out into the most perfect mod I could have uh, random crit, I don't think it mattered with Agron, into the Victini. Great, I get Rock damage on this thing. If he goes for U-turn, he will be taking a lot of damage, but like I already said, he knows I have Rock damage. <laughs> he's assuming that, and he's right, and he doesn't want to touch it. He just doesn't want to touch it. I, goes out. I can go for... Here, I go for Gunk Shot because my obvious play was Drunk Tailing again or Sucker Punch. Or Glare. Glare, not really. That means he would have gotten another switch into Sylveon. And with the health my Crowbot was at at the moment, it would have meant he would have gotten another kill with Sylveon. I could not allow that, so I did go for the Gunk Shot predicting the uh, Sylveon. He didn't, sadly. But yeah, I missed a Drunk Tail here, so we are pretty even on the misses right now. He missed the Toxic, I missed a Drunk Tail. That's like the Hex is. Uh, on balance again, he pulls out the rest, and I was very surprised to see the rest. I didn't expect that. This thing is back again at full health, which is like I have to wear it down a bit again. But Lander still does like a shit ton of this thing, even especially defensive. So I'm not too worried. And this means I know it's full moveset, toxic earthquake, heavy slam, rest, and I, that means it, on the steep turns I can get my setup with Lander. So I note that down. I can get setup with Lander for free versus this thing. I drank him out again into Victini. I'm pretty, I'm getting pretty lucky with these uh, Dragon Tail rolls. So, like, kind of the hex is again in my favor if you count that in. He goes back into Megatron. I just go for a Dragon Tail again. I know he will switch out. He won't stay in. And yeah, let's see. I go for Dragon Tail. Yeah, there it is. I drank Tail Megatron right. I back out. He doesn't burn any sleep turns. And I get back out. Who would have guessed? Let's get let, let's guess what I get out. Of course, I get the Victini again. I get the Victini three times out. And this basically means he only has one more switch into rocks. And after that, yeah, he's dead. If he goes for U-turn or something like this, he's already dead to rock, so he won't do that. I just go for the next Dragon Tail. He he wants Mega Aggron in this thing, so he doesn't switch it Mega Aggron, and he switches in his Uxie. And I love that he switches in Uxie. I can get damage on this thing. I get Rock's damage. I get Dragon Tail damage on this thing. Dragon, you're doing a very good job drank, shuffling his team around, wearing his team down. But he drank, this time he Dragon Tail sadly into Mega Aggron, but another time Victini, I would have been too lucky. I wouldn't have deserved that, but sadly he goes into Mega Aggron. I just drank tail here again because I can lift the toxic damage and get some more damage on this. Sadly, this means he can burn a turn of sleep. Let me here only has one more turn of sleep, so one more turn of setup. I just drank him out and I get him back into Yuxi, which is pretty nice. I get another time's rock damage in, and since my Dragon dies to toxic now, it gets free switch into my Mega Absol. I can get my Mega up and I can knock off scared thing out with a knockoff. And I make here a bit an open old prediction. I predict him like either predict my pursuit. Or my knockoff or something like this, and just straight switch out. Straight switch out. He has a. Co he said he has a coal berry. Knockoff was my obvious play here. I don't have pursuit this time, but yeah, I was predicting the Mega Aggron to come in because he can take this thing on very well. He can burn another turn of sleep, so I did go for the Fire Blast. Sadly, I missed the Fire Blast here. Spoilers. I miss. He stays in. That was very confusing for me. He why did he stay in? He needed. He needs to preserve this thing for my uh, Landers. Otherwise, I'm sweeping after the Rock Polish. Yeah. Like, he preserved this thing very well, but this play I don't really agree with. I'm, on the other hand, it played out for him, so I can't really complain. But this was a very confusing play for me. I, I missed my fail blast, sadly, so I miss out on damage on this thing. He goes to Tesla, but here he shows very good preparation for me. I go for his Sucker Punch, seeing that... I thought he has no switch into this thing, like... And that's why I did go into this. I have, I have shown Fire Blast, but no, he will okay prepared. He has the substitute to my, dodge my Sucker Punch. Uh, my Tangrove was too low to lift two HP fires. I have to go for the Sucker Punch to bake this thing's sub, and Mega Absol goes down here. That's very good preparation on Dan's part. I did not expect a substitute. I probably should expect a substitute from the, from now on on faster months because that's a very nice uh, uh, thing to to dodge uh, Sucker Punch and get Mega Absol down. But yeah, now I can go back into Spätzle. I uh, see he's going for Volt Switch, and I think I just go for Giga Drain here, right? I think this is trying to go for Giga Drain. I just go for Gidrain, trying to catch the Uxie. I need damage on the Uxie, that's my plan right now. Last get damage on the Uxie so he can sweep with, uh, with, with Landorus. He sadly goes into the Mega Crown. God damn it. He goes into the Mega Crown. This is his last turn of sleep. I go for Gidrain, and this means I can switch out into my Landorus. And yeah, can't set up yet because Uxie is still too healthy. He has, he di didn't show leftovers, and the way he stayed in versus Mega Absol showed me basically, I assume this thing is Cold Berry, and I carved it and. Knockoff with a cold berry does nothing, Slash Rift does nothing. I need to wear Uxie way more down. I need to wear more down. He goes into this thing. 
Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's in, of course, asleep. I'm bluffing the Earth Power. I'll go for knockoff, praying that Yuxi comes in. Come on, show me the Yuxi. Show me the Yuxi. But no, he reserves it still, and he goes into the sexist uh, uh, Sylveon, which I still take, but Yuxi. Nuxi to come out. I need to wear this thing down. This is my way key to victory. I need to wear the Yuxi down. I can still win here, even though I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty big, um, like, he's ahead. I think only he only lost two months. I only lost four. So he's very ahead. But Zero, he takes another turn of rocks damage. Okay, I have to switch out here. I, yeah, I can't stay in. I just sack my um, Crowbat here. I still need my Tangrove and I still need my Landorus. Because, uh, as, um, what you call this, um, Tangrove would not enjoy the Ice Band because I'm not physically defensive. I just sack Crowbat here. And can go back into my Tangrove and get some depth. If I can land this Giga Drain on this thing. If I can land this Giga Drain on this thing, he is in range. He is in range for anything my, my Landorus wants to do. After rocks. But he goes straight for the U-turn. Sadly, I don't I was hoping, please go for Ice Punch. Come on, please go for Ice Punch. Let me get this Giga Drain off. But no, he's preserving this thing very well. Barring the one play versus Absol, he's preserving this thing amazingly. And props to Dan for this, but that's that's just a pain for me to see. He goes to Mega, back into Mega Aircron. I go for Giga Drain, trying to get the damage on the uh, on the Uxie. But yeah, he just... This means he will wake up now. So I, I was expecting... Honestly, I was expecting another Rest or a Toxic for my uh, Spetsit right here. This... So I switch out into my uh, Landris, trying to catch him on the rest and set up with a, or um, hit the Yuxi one last time up and then set up. But yeah, he wakes up, goes for the Toxic, sadly, not the rest. But yeah, this I can scam out with the Earth Power. I just go for the safe Earth Power here. Yes, he can't. He can't switch on the Yuxi. If he switch on the Yuxi, he may lose the game still because he can't take on my Tangrove with uh, Jolteon and. Yeah, it will be. He still has the Victini, but if I get a Rock College up, it's basically GG. I go just go for the Earth Power, kill this thing. Landris is getting two kills at least, but yeah, now he can just go into the Uxie and still take any hit. I calculated it. If he's max special defense, max HP, Sledge Wave still does more than knockoff with a Cobra Berry. After the match, he was Cobra Berry, so I was right on that. I just go for the Sledge Wave, pray it would kill, maybe even some weird Anawa spread. I go for Sledge Wave. And it missed out, on a, missed out on the KO. He goes for U-turn, not for Ice Punch, surprisingly. He predicted my Tangrove, he said, to come in on the Ice Punch. But yeah, he, he, which may have been a better play, to be honest. If I would have gone to Tangrove, it's too late to think about that now. But you will probably leave, <laughs> leave something in the comments, would have, been, would have been a better play. But yeah, now he can just go into Victini. This thing, I assumed this was Choice Craft. I could have switched out, I probably should have switched out here into my... Uh, into my Tangrove. And after we drop good, uh, back into back into Landris to... Uh, to kill this thing, if I outspeed, if I outspeed. If he's Scarf Jolly, I won't outspeed because I'm a modest, not modest nature, mild nature. So it's, it's plus special attack, minus special defense. And if he's at minus one, he will still outspeed me if he's Jolly. But I, I could have tried at least. I could have tried. I should have tried. That's that's another misplay on my part. I should have tried that. I would have gone at least. I would have killed this thing. Then he would have gone Jolly on and killed me. It would have been a 2-0 loss. But yeah, he goes, no, we create my Tangrove. I was praying he maybe could take it. But no, it's I'm not physically defensive. We create is way too strong of a move. Bikini, it's, it's stab, it's 180 base power, it comes from a base 100 attack, it's super effective. And this is a 3-0 loss versus the uh, St. Louis on Powders, aka Dan. Well played by Dan, I made some smaller, smaller of predictions, some plays he made I still don't understand, but it worked out for him, so I, no dis discredit to Dan for anything. He played very good, he preserved his Yuxi very well, barring one time, but... That's, that was very good played, and yeah, I can the only one I can blame is me for switching in a zoom mill on that on that Sylveon. It's a tough free or loss, but if you look at the HP stats, Bikini was at one HP after four rocks switch in. Yuxi would have died to rocks after he switched in, and Jolteon would have been under ten percent after rocks. Three months so low, but it's still a free or loss. That's just that is very frustrating. If I would have just kept a zoom mill, I could have just cleaned up with Aqua Jet. Like everything would be died to Aqua Jet, but. Yeah, it's it's just all these ifs ifs. It's it's a very frustrating loss. Like I I the match was on Monday. I record this on Saturday, and I still can't get over that that I lost like such a big loss. Like three O is not as big of a loss, but it's very frustrating to lose. There's such a such a number in front of you. If all these months were so low, it's very frustrating. I let you down, my my, my supporters for Borussia for the Borussia Don fan. No, wait. I don't say Borussia. Borussia is wrong. I just I'm just accustomed to all the guys which are English speaking. It's Borussia. Borussia Dortmund. All listening. Borussia Dortmund. It's the way to pronounce it. I I will start doing that now. But I'm sorry, everyone. I let you down. It's it's a harsh loss for us. Like it's it sounds it sounds weird. I'm frustrated. If you can't tell, I'm very frustrated for this loss. But 
Just, that doesn't mean I will be Dark Horse Mesa. This just means I will have to win all other matches. So, that's the plan for now. Win all other matches. This won't happen again. This won't happen. I'm, I won't assume too much anymore. Like, I was assuming uh, defensive uh, Sylveon and that was basically the downfall. I have to play safer with my with my important mons with Azumarill. It's a very common but d dumb mistake to play around this... Uh, to take such a risk with important months, but I did it and I have to pay for it, it won't happen again. So yeah, people, if you still like what you saw, definitely leave a like, comment, subscribe, definitely hit up Dan. I mean, I probably don't need to tell you that, because I'm kind of the small guy in the league and Dan is like kind of the big guy in the league, or one of the big guys, <laughs> and I doubt he will gain any stuff from me, but why not? If there's at least one uh, which will sub to you, that's was worth it already. But yeah, hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links are in the description, and yeah, I will see you next time for the win! Bullshit on fan. Ciao.